How baggy was her vagina? Uh, no. Uh... On a scale of a baby to Lily Allen. <laughs> Hi, Lily. <laughs> Hi, Lily. I'm sorry. We are doing a special comedy and podcast festival called Dead Me. It is on Saturday, the 27th of July in Manchester, and tickets are available right now. You just got to head over to www.deadmentalkpod.com, get your tickets. It's 40 quid for a full day's pass, and for that, you get 13 hours of comedy and stand up and all sorts of mad things yeah. across four different stages. We're having a deathmatch wrestling event as well. Like, it's going to be absolute fucking chaos. We've got incredible acts all day. We've got people you've seen on the podcast and maybe you even haven't heard incredible you've got Jamie Hutchinson Glenn Wool Scott Bennett Barry Dodds Dan Nightingale Rachel Fairburn Belly, Bemi Oladipo Mick Ferry Finn Taylor just fucking loads Ishan Akbar Garrett Millerick we've got Rose Battles we've got Bobby May we've got Matt Richardson we've got Andrew Maxwell we've got me we've got this big fat cunt it's going to be the best day of the year and if you're not there you're going to be sat at home feeling like a fucking wanker so get your tickets now we'll see you in July for the best day of the fucking year Warning, the following podcast contains extreme language and themes and is not suitable for all audiences. Hello and welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Rob Mulholland, him a big fat cunt and little not gay Tom. Hello. Um, we've not got a guest today, we didn't want one. So, uh, how are you doing? Not too bad. Good? Yeah, sore arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> for no reason, I assume. For yeah, the no big, big curry. Big curry. Big curry. Fine. Fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not too bad. I have taken the first steps of my powerlifting journey. Have you actually? Yep. You went to a gym? Yep. You went to a gym? Yep. Jesus oh my fucking God. To, to, Jesus Christ. To look around. Right, okay. But that, that's a fucking start. So I Googled... There's the vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> I Googled powerlifting yeah. uh, near me. Yeah. Um, and I found this gym... And it's on an industrial estate. That's a good sign for a powerlifting gym. Well, it's a good sign for any gym. Yeah. You don't want a high street gym. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. I'll Mine's s- next to a Greg's, which is mixed messages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what this gym is like. It's like somebody has taken a random room on an industrial estate yeah. and yeah. thrown every piece of powerlifting equipment that has ever existed into a. Te- there's there's not enough room to move around yeah. freely. It's like that's good. Do you want yeah. that? Yeah, well, probably not enough room for you, but hopefully if you keep going, you might be able to fit between the machines. <laughs> yes, yes, powerlifting will make me thinner and smaller, won't it? Yeah. Or, you'd be, or you'd be so strong, yeah. you'd be able to move them out of the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah it actually would make you thinner. So anyway, I, I go in and uh, it's very uh, rustic, Yeah, the gym. Uh, and they were like, oh, you need to, uh, I, I said, is there any staff here? Anywhere? Oh, you want to speak to Tommy? I'll show you where Tommy is. So he leads me to a garage next door to the gym. And right. Tommy's in the garage fitting blinds. Yeah. So he's just he's just making blinds for orders and stuff. And he's like, oh, yeah, you want to join us? He's know. just one of those blokes who has a bunch of fucking businesses. Yeah. He's yeah, one of those yeah. guys like, I'll make you a blind. You want a gym? I'll sell you a Rottweiler puppy. What do you want? <laughs> you know, yeah. it, it, he, he is literally that exact guy. Yeah. Very nice fellow, though. Uh, and we were chatting for a while, and he and he was like, "Look, Look it's it's yeah. X amount a month, and you've got to do this, do that." Did you you know? tell him about your baggy heart. So he says to me, he goes. Uh, he goes, what you know? What made you want to join the gym? What you know? What you're looking for? And I said, well, you should have just gone. Yeah, <laughs> look at this. What shit. do you think? Like, look at me. I'm a fucking disgusting slob. I can barely stand up without having a heart attack. So I said to him, look, I, I, can you not smell me? I said, I'm trying to sort of improve my fitness, um, and y- you know, I've I've got heart failure. Yeah. And he was like, oh shit, you know. So um, is that going to be a problem when you're exercising? I said, well, with cardio stuff, it makes it more difficult. But with this, I'm hoping that I can, you know, still exercise, but it won't be as long term and stuff. And mm-hmm. he's like, oh, what's wrong with your heart? And I told him about like uh, fat not, and gay, not enough okay, oxidized yeah, yeah. blood being pumped out and stuff like that. Too um, much cum in it. <laughs> and basically, uh, I'm not I'm not going to be able to tell this story. I'm, so, I'm you... sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Quinn. I'm afraid you have cum darteries. <laughs> So we had a chat for a while, and he uh, and he was like, "All right, okay." He goes, "How come how you got heart failure?" And I told him about Legionnaires yeah. and stuff, and how it affected my heart. And he was like, "All right, okay, sounds so you know it's thirty quid a month, whatever." 
And he said, first thing we get everybody to do is uh, is sign a disclaimer. He goes, but in your case, I'm going to get you signed too. <laughs> 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 it's just basically going, if you die, it's not on us. Oh, he, he, he said that yeah. whilst fixing a blind. It's like, <laughs> there's, there's, something, there's something so painfully <laughs> annoying about being roasted by somebody and you're not even his primary. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's a side quest. Yeah, he's, just yeah, yeah. It, and he's not even intentionally roasting you. He means that. He's yeah, like, no, yeah, we're yeah. going to have to double this for you. He uh, so, so the plan is, is he says he's got some new... Personal trainers starting next week. Nice. So I'm going to get down and just sort of, you know, do things. I think I'd do better with a PT. Yeah. Because I think if I go in there, because you know what? You, you need know. someone to tell you to do it. I get it. Yeah, especially yeah, at the yeah. start, especially with powerlifting, because you can really hit your back. Yeah, it's it's good. Like, I mean, I learned well, off like, YouTube said, and watching, but yeah. you know, like you just go really slowly. But you've so, never like, been a gym. Oh, totally. And like, also, like, I reckon you'd just sort of sit there and not do anything. So he said that actually powerlifting is not really what I want to focus on to uh -huh. begin with. He said, because it's it's still quite a a, a big cardiovascular Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does thing. get your fucking heart going. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, what you want to focus on is bodybuilding. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so it's like smaller lifts and stuff, but yeah. Yeah, you got to start small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're looking at the next Mr. Olympia. <laughs> Mate, I really hope you get absolutely yoked. I think it would be so funny. If we could do like... Well, I do like we had, eggs. <laughs> <laughs> if we just had this time lapse of you from like the first episode in my fucking spare room. Like, I think I might be the most successful bully of all time. Yeah, it would like, prove once like, for all the bullying works. Like, what a case study in fat shaming. <laughs> if, like, if you just become super hench, I will have proved my point that fat shaming is brilliant and effective. This might bring bullying back into school. Schools. This is Br it. Bring bullying into the curriculum. I'm going to do like a Jamie's school dinners, but with bullying, <laughs> where I like go to government with and go, look, look how good bullying is. Like genuinely, I'm really proud of you, mate. It's fucking I, sick. The I first think, step is the hardest. Yeah, I think it. Would I be, think all of them are going to be quite hard. Oh yeah, I like think it. it would be really funny if I got absolutely hench and still had about. 45 seconds worth of cardio in me. Yeah. <laughs> so I was, I, was, I was completely ripped, but I was like, he's only strong for a minute. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. If you get hit by him, you're going to die. But like, just dodge one and you're fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, a, like I, I was doing me uh, fucking uh, Tai Chi stuff last night and like the instructor was explaining how all the moves are slowed down Kung Fu. So if someone comes at me fucking slowly, they are getting battered. <laughs> I will slowly fuck you they up. They are getting moved out of the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you want a slow push, you are fucking getting it, mate. So watch out. Are you still doing Tai Chi? Yeah, I love it, mate. I, like, I genuinely like fucking love it. I went uh, just on a whim once to a class, but it's like, it's just so calming. I love it. Like, it's proper good. Like, yeah. I think we know the alpha of the podcasters, don't I've we? I've been weightlifting for years. <laughs> like, no, I already I do what I know, you do. I know, but look I at, get to do the big but, weights. But you, you've I signed a form to say that you yeah, might go weightlifting. You've watched a man make some blinds. That's what you've done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think you're going to be going I, lifting the little pink plastic weights in the corner. I think you'll find I haven't even signed the form yet. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got to sign two forms because he's so fat. He's got out of breath lifting the pen up. <laughs> yeah. You've got to start with 10 pen curls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it seems fun. It seems like a. It seems like a nice thing to do. Yeah, I think you'll enjoy it genuinely. Like, because you've got loads of aggression in you, and like, you've got loads of like anger and bleakness, yeah, and that's yeah, really yeah. good for weightlifting because you can just be like, "Fuck off!" Yeah. Like uh, the, the first few times. You, the day after is going to hurt. Yeah, gonna hurt, like for a couple the of next the next day after you've done it for the first few weeks is brutal, but then it's just fine. Yeah, 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 well, yeah I'm not. I'm good. not. I'm not scared of things hurting the day after I've done porn shoots. <laughs> <laughs> Right, restart. <laughs> just, ble just bleep it, obviously. Just cut That's, it. Just cut just, it. No, I just put a bleep over it. Fuck it. <laughs> Uh, but no, that's fucking cool, man. I love that you've gone for like the most like uh, you know dog on a lead outside tied up gym. That's I think it's, it's a good move. It's it's man. Well, here's the reason. I that, think you need some toxic masculinity in you. Here's the reason that I uh, chose that gym 
It is four minutes from my house. There you go. That's a great reason to choose a gym. Yeah, if it's yeah. too far away, you'd be like, ah, I can't be out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because going there is an activity in itself. Well, that's the, like uh, the, the my Italian mate in the gym who said to me, it's just like, the hardest uh, lift you do at night is you lifting your bum off this sofa. <laughs> so, it's true. Like, it, it is true. true. Once it's you're the only, there. No once one you're get, there, you'll just do it. Yeah, yeah, nobody gets to the gym and like literally walks in and goes, ah, I can't be out. Although, home. to be fair, I went the other night and there was uh, a group of three lads playing Uno. And I was like... At the gym? At the gym. I was like, that felt so wrong. Like yeah, the Uno, like the card game? The card game Uno. Like, I seen, like, you know, pick up four, reverse. Were they Italian as well? <laughs> uh, like, they, I suppose they could have been. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't have been my first guess. Uh, you know, they, they were Asian lads. Uh, were they? Yeah. But, like, they were just having a little game of Uno. It felt so wrong. Because normally in the gym, right, it's like, it's not embarrassing at all because you, you've got, a, like, a commonality of purpose. You're all doing the same thing. You're all sweaty and pathetic and straining. Yeah. But when there's just three lads having a chilled out time playing cards, it just feels wrong to yeah. be next to them. Like, ah, ah, you know what I mean? Yeah. It just felt yeah, like yeah. off. It's like you haven't got the vibe. Like, it's wrong. You're in the wrong place. It's jarring. Yeah, You're yeah, chafing yeah. against the environment. Yeah. It felt yeah. icky. It, it, it'd be like if I set a table down in the middle and just started eating like a, a nice dinner. Although, if you did that, if I saw a photo of you in a gym with a little bib tucked in eating pasta, I, I think I might die from laughing. <laughs> I think that might be something that would kill me. I don't think it would be safe for me to view that photo. Do you reckon anyone would say anything? Yeah. Yeah. Like, people in the gym will say something if you No, no, no. If, like I'd, if I'd okayed it with the staff... Yeah. And I just walked in, just sat down, and I'd like a pop-up. You know, like, rate my takeaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I just popped it in, and I had a tablecloth, yeah. and I had a little candle and a little rose in a, in a yeah, glass. Yeah. I think someone would say something, I think yes. people would say something, like, as a joke. I don't think people would say, get out of the fucking gym. No, no, totally. Like, in general, like, people are very chilled out. They're people, all fucking people, people are usually very polite in the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually a very nice environment for that sort of thing. But, yeah, people would have a laugh with you. Like, people would mention it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd position it. Just next to where the women do Pilates. <laughs> the worst place <laughs> just genuinely sat eat a car. I think they were getting more watching, comments. watching yoga puss. If you did it in the squat rack, you'd get way more anger. Like if you just yeah. did it in the way of a squat rack, yeah. people would be furious. What about if I did it in a squat rack? I, I I wasn't there or anything like that. I just stood there in a full uh tuxedo. Yeah. So I obviously wasn't, you know, working there. And every time like you were the bouncer of and, the squat rack. And I, I, every time you squatted down, I just went. <laughs> <laughs> like that, yeah. made those sounds. Yeah, I think someone would say something, yeah. You think I, I, think, I think there probably would be, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, a lot of people would find it humorous, but I think that you'd probably get the wrong guy who would not enjoy it. And He's had these steroids. Yeah, 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 those are the bad ones. Like, it's good that also that you're on, like, it, it sounds like a very uh, male-heavy gym, yours, and you you need that. You can't be around camel toeing like... I like, am yeah. a pervert, and that is one of my fucking things as well, that I like. I like fucking... Mum ass yeah. in fucking yoga pants. That yeah. is one of the best things about going to the gym. Yeah, it is. It's like it's. I can't. I, it's just not helpful though. Like I need to like. Yeah. I've just got to be like. I, I like it's just not helpful. It's not I, a good energy. Have you seen those those videos of people who are like working out at the gym or whatever, and they have a a camera up videoing themselves, and they're like a really fit woman or yeah. whatever. And they're like doing that thing where like they do the chest curls or whatever. Yeah. And their tits are straining out their fucking Yeah, tiny but they're like, sports. oh, I'm just going to do some labia stretches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a guy walks past and, and one of his eyes, yeah, yeah. he's like a little chameleon. And one of his eyes just quickly checks out yeah, yeah. what's going on. And they're like, oh my God, you just looked at me. That's I'm getting this camera and pointing it in your face and yeah. putting it on Facebook. I'll tell you what I love on the internet, right? Like, it's like, uh, he's, he's, he's like a TikTok guy. But like, I say, Joey Instagram, Swole. I fucking love Joey Swole. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. Ace, he's like, the most like roided out massive fucking dude with these like bolder arms it's, it's all his videos are about like critiquing videos of people being uh like off in the gym and those ones would be like hey that man wasn't doing anything wrong you shouldn't have been stretching your pussy like that in the gym <laughs> it's a public place but it's all about respect and then the gym being for everyone he's like dead like positive and yeah stuff. he's but mr I, etiquette isn't i he? genuinely like I, I i fear like i didn't take a photo of the uh, guys in the gym playing uno the other night because i didn't want to end up in a, a joey swell video where he's like hey you shouldn't be taking photos of people maybe they need, don't have anywhere else to play uno yeah. i'll be like sorry joey swell <laughs> getting told off by joey swell would make me so you mean the only place they can go to play Uno is somewhere where they pay £30 a month? Well, I don't think they paid. 
Uh, oh, because they're Asian. No, because they were playing Uno. <laughs> like, I would suggest that you, you think Asian not... people don't pay for the gym. I think people who play Uno in gyms probably aren't that committed to the fucking gym. Were wow. they wearing gym clothes? No, they were in like normal tracksuits. Just eat. Uh... A... <laughs> no, it's just like you know. I think Deliveroo, they were just, they were just like, hanging bag. out. And like you know, maybe they had a workout and then they were doing that. You know, yeah. it's, it's very very possible. Like you know, yeah, I, still I think it's bizarre. It's, it's like... just weird, isn't it? It's just weird. It's just in the wrong place. It's like playing PlayStation in the chip shop. It's yeah. just it's, yeah. it's you know. And if you went to like a games workshop and yeah. started doing fucking bicep curls or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's just you're in the wrong place for the activity. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You shouldn't be playing Uno at the gym. Yeah. I mean, exactly. the worst people at the gym are the ones that are obnoxiously loud when they're lifting weights. Yeah. You know, they're like, yeah! Like, you don't need to be that loud. Yeah. you like, Obviously, sometimes... Sometimes you need a little... Or yeah, whatever, yeah, But yeah, the yeah. ones who are ridiculous... Oh, when they're showing off about it and they're bouncing the weights down, it's like... Bouncing that. the weights. Yeah, it's yeah, like... Yeah, those yeah, are, yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, thankfully, my gym ain't, ain't very light that. Like, Mine there, is, yeah, there isn't, like, a lot Mine's of a very middle-class gym. Yeah. Mine's, uh, mine's South Manchester. I go late at night, so it's a lot of, like, just uh, dudes who want to be left alone. <laughs> you know, like, it's just, like, there's always about six guys in there. Maybe, like, uh, there's a group of, like, three jacked Asian dudes I see all the time who are just... Playing always... Uno. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just, like, fucking reverse, bitch. <laughs> no, like, those guys are always just on one rack together just doing, like, you know, it's all sound. It's nice. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, uh, you know. Well, I can't wait to bring some toxic masculinity to my gym. Right, I genuinely... I, it'd be so funny. Let's get a fucking hench. It's going to be sick. I just, I'm, ju- I'm just going to master it like I master things in life and then uh-huh. move on to another With thing. your maximum effort that you always put with, into everything? With my maximum effort that I always... Have. Oh, always what what else have you mastered? Uh, comedy. Um, are we are we just, are we gonna let that fly? Yep, mastered. Yep, yep. Uh, I've mastered um, mastered pasta. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Yeah, eating pasta. The yeah. master of pasta. Yeah, yeah, pasta, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pasta master. <laughs> <laughs> well, Freddie has a wanky pasta baits. <laughs> 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 I actually passed a bake. I put it in the oven. I put it, put it in an oven dish. Smear fucking dolmio on it. Put some cheese on it. I stick it in for forty minutes. Right now, time for the white sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, we are uh, going to the Edinburgh Fringe. We are going to the Edinburgh Fringe. Uh, despite you both did of us, you did something funny. D- despite both of us, many, many times going on about how much we fucking ate and all this. Like genuinely, like I love it though. It's just that uh, I ate a lot of the cunts. I uh, don't like the fringe. Um, I love it. Like so I just ate the cunts. The reason that I'm going is because obviously to do this tour, mm-hmm. I can do twelve kind of um, shows back to back, and yeah. it will just make the tour better. This is it. I've I've got a load of stuff that uh, like I've got a load of funny stuff that's going to be made into a show by that. And I'll, I'll tour eventually, probably. Uh, but yeah, like I'm going up and doing the full month, and we're looking forward to it now. How but, many doing the second half? Yeah, because you're lazy. I should uh, point out as well, by the way. That like I've had a couple of people messaging me already, being like, "I've bought tickets for the tour. Should I buy tickets for Edinburgh? Is it the same show?" Um, the the thing is, is I've watched shows from comedians that I like, mm. and I've watched the same show three or four times, and I've enjoyed it every time because it's been. You're a bit trying different. to sell multiple tickets to the same <laughs> yeah. people. Is that what you're going for right now? What I'm saying. You know, is... What you're saying is maybe if you want to see a fat man stand still twice, go for it. <laughs> Buy a ticket to every show. Yeah, you could come see me 20 or 30 times and you'd probably enjoy it a bit. Why don't you start selling season tickets to your tour? <laughs> what a desperate sales pitch that was. <laughs> what do you expect? I know. I'm doing a tour as well. I've got uh, fucking tickets to shift. Uh, yeah, but uh, do come and see those. It'll be fun. But yeah, I did I this. Watched, It'll be funny. I watched Bill Burr's show three times. And I'm not saying I'm as good you're as Bill, not Bill Burr. <laughs> but I'm not saying <laughs> I'm not, as good as Bill Burr. But every time I watched it, it was different. Yeah. And there were Is things... yours going to be different every time? Yeah, because that's the point of me being up there. Um, it, it's different enough that I'm interested in it. And like, it's interesting to go... Oh, we opened with that last time, and now it's in the middle, or like changed it yeah, about and stuff. Brilliant. I liked it anyway. I just fucking tweet a set list. If you're, so. <laughs> if you're a comedy nerd, it'd be interesting. Yeah. If you're not a comedy nerd and you just like me saying rape jokes, then yeah, just listen to them twice. 
<laughs> just listen to it twice. We're, we're, we're probably going to do a live show as we're gonna well. Do, yeah, we're going to maybe, maybe we're, even two. Yeah, we're going to try and do some live podcasts while we're up there as well. And uh, we're going to call the live podcast uh, Dead Men Talking Break the Hate Crime Bill. So yeah. <laughs> look out for that. Uh, but yeah, I did do something funny with me listing because I didn't really like, because I'm doing this like, sort of on a whim. I've got like, I wasn't planning on doing it, but I've actually like written more stuff than I thought I would by now uh, that I'm really enjoying doing. So yeah. I'm going to have a show. And then like, I got to go down for uh, like a room. It's cool. Uh, 9 p.m. at the caves. Nice. Come see us. Uh, but yeah, so I was like doing it all last minute. I had a day before the deadline for the brochure, right, to like just write all the blurb and everything. Yeah. So I didn't have any photos. So I was just like, uh, my show is called Allegations. So I, uh, I just put a photo of a paedophile as my picture in the brochure. Yeah, paedophile comedian Tom Bin. Yeah, I just put a picture of him in character as Ivan Brackenbury. Just really made me laugh. Just... It does look a bit like you as well. Well, what, that's what's really funny is it's a white guy with glasses and a baseball cap. So if you squinted, it could be me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, it's it just really made me laugh, the idea of having him in the brochure. Yeah. And just like, you know, like, it's just... Do you know what I think is really funny is the idea that he'll have seen it and he'll have knowledge yeah. about it. And he's oh, like, he'll he's be like, really annoyed. Oh. Yeah, I know. Definitely be like, oh. I'm not at the fringe this year. Yeah, uh, but like, I got so, like, it went on sale yesterday. And the only reason I knew that it was on sale because I started getting DMs off comics <laughs> going, Did like, you? you funny cunt, like, ah, ha, and like, loads of people off it. Like, it's like, it really, uh, yeah, it's fucking well funny, isn't it? Yeah. Like, probably cost me some sales, but fuck it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, definitely. I'm, I'm taking that attitude to it this year. I'm just having fun with it. And like, it's really free. It's nice. I just don't give a fuck in a good way. Yeah, you know? yeah, like, yeah. Like, I'm yeah. just going to have loads of fun. I think the show's going to be sick. I'm yeah. all up for it. So, you got two choices for shows to see. Uh, there are different times. One that's going to be. Why the... would you have to. Cho- why would no. they choose between. Come and see both of us, you fucking. Co- I'm yeah. going to be nice enough to say you should also two, see his show. Two sales pitches. Yeah. One is come and see the same show that you've got a tour for. And the other one is come and see a show I don't give a fuck about. <laughs> come on, guys. Who can say no to that? We literally can't do anything right. <laughs> We can't do anything that's our, right. that's our promo done. You I look think at we've how fucking that off. How fucking slick have a word are. And, uh, how how much they like, they've got their shit together. How, how many tickets they fucking shift? Because Wagwan send... lids. I'm coming to this place. I'm going to that place. Yeah. I'm coming to all these fucking places. Get your tickets. Fucking bish bash bosh. Boom! It's gonna be the best show. Hashtag fucking breaking the world. Yeah. And then we're, and like, we're like, ah, oh, we're going to a place we hate to do a shit show. <laughs> you cunts. <laughs> Buy fucking five tickets because we can't be us selling them to anyone else <laughs> absolutely pathetic also these <laughs> are this is gonna be so hard to edit <laughs> I'm going on tour this year. In October and November 2024, I am going to 20 different venues across the UK and Ireland with my brand new tour, In Sickness. This is my first ever UK stand-up tour, and I really want you all to come. You can get tickets via the website www.freddyquinn.co.uk. Come down, show us your love, show us your support. Say hello after the podcast, we'll get pictures, you'll have a great show. It's an absolutely depraved hour of stand-up from me, and plus I've got a special guest who's going to be opening the show up and doing my support. If you fancy it, tickets are available, www.freddyquinn.co.uk. The Army of the Dead needs you. Join us at patreon.com forward slash Pod to get even more from this podcast. If you love it, you can get an extra episode every week. We've got loads of specials on there. There's more stuff going up all the time. And most importantly, you are the reason, you who've signed up to the Army of the Dead, are the reason that we can go so hard. The reason we don't need to give a fuck about upsetting anybody is that we have you behind us. So join us at patreon.com forward slash Pod. Get yourself a free trial for a week. If you like, it's three pounds a month. You get loads of extra stuff. Now, here's a little taster of a recent episode from Patreon for you to enjoy. Man injected his own semen into his arm for 18 months to treat back pain. Was it cancer? (laughs) I have got so many questions. A 33? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what's his number? (laughs) Where's his supply? (laughs) What rates does he get? (laughs) A 33-year-old man required medical treatment at a Dublin hospital after repeatedly injecting himself with his own semen in a bizarre attempt to treat his long-standing lower back pain. First query, why your arm? Yeah, that's that's. <laughs> well, what he can't I reach thought. his back. 
Get someone else to jab you with uh, jizz. I think if you're getting someone else to do it, they'll probably talk you out of it. Mm, do you know that what? That's true. A lot know... of people, he probably asked a few people who were like, you shouldn't. Do you know what I think has happened here? Uh, is he? You would know. So, so I can tell you right now. I bet you any money this guy listens to Joe Rogan. Yeah. Right. And I bet he's heard that testosterone yeah. helps the male body recover and stuff. Mm, interesting. And he's gone. He's got more testosterone. He's, yeah. He's looked at testosterone on the internet yeah. and been like, a hundred pounds. If only there was a way to get it for cheaper. Hmm. And then he's had a wank yeah. and he's come to the realisation... That's pure testosterone. Cum is just testosterone. That's all it is. Yeah. It's all his income. And so he just... and What mime was that? <laughs> oh, he's slurping it up in a syringe. Right, I don't know why he's done it two-handed. How big's this fucking syringge? It's a lot of cum. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You produce a lot of cum and people yeah. want testosterone. Yeah. Maybe we should start selling your cum. Yeah. Okay. We could sell all of our cum. Really. Make me an offer. You know, if yeah. anyone wants to buy me cum, you're willing to, you know, send me a financial offer. What like, is the minimum you would sell five, your cum for? Five pounds. Well, ah, it's not worth my time. We've got it? to ship it as well. Yeah, exactly. 25 pounds. Uh, nah. 50? I think you've got to price it high because then uh, you've got to do fewer, in it. And like, you've pounds? got to value it yourself. Yeah. 100 pounds for cum? I'm 100 pound a load? I'm talking through my thinking, right? Because okay. if you charge a fiver a go, right, people get bored of it and they'll be like, oh, you know. It's not worth yeah. anything. You've got to make it valuable. So if you charge like a grand, no, someone might save up. Like people. diamonds. Yeah, diamonds exactly. are artificially expensive. Scarcity. There's actually loads of diamonds. Yeah, there yeah, is. yeah. I but... control the world's supply of my cum, right? I'm like the De Beers <laughs> of cum. <laughs> that right? should be on like a, a motivational Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> control the supply of your own cum. I do. Somebody put that on like a background of a sunset. I have. A- <laughs> I supply. I control the world's supply of my own cum. Yeah, I have a monopoly on Rob Mulholland jizz, right? There's no other suppliers, so I can charge what I fucking but want. Specifically, I and I'd people rather want your cum. No, but the, I re- no, that's the thing. I'm not a mass market cum. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's not loads of people who want to buy my cum. There's a few freaks who do, and they can save up. If 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 if, if we were paying a hundred pound for your cum, you're paying a grand. I, well, but if we were paying a hundred, yeah, I would buy it. How about this? Oh yeah, I would buy it, and I'd murder a woman. Dad, <laughs> 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 yeah. find a little child and just spread it around its arsehole. <laughs> Oh, all the fun you could have. Yeah. You'd be having it, a great time just, it. like, gleefully sprinkling it over crime scenes. <laughs> la da 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 Be making it rain. <laughs> uh, I am actually genuinely looking forward to it, though. I think it's going to be really fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's going to be fun. It's going to yeah, be a good well, show. I'm really looking forward to doing some live dead men as well. We've never done them live. Yeah, yeah. that will be fun. Yeah, yeah really I haven't good. said yes to that yet. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. <laughs> we literally talked about it just before the yes. fucking... Yes, let's do it. Yeah. Well, we're doing it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do it now. <laughs> I'm not keen. Uh, what have we got? Have we got th- some things to talk I've, about? I've sent some stuff in. All right. Uh, uh, I have sent some stuff in, and it is quite funny. So I hope you enjoy that. So what I want you to go for is... Uh, yeah, go for life lesson first. Right, that's always good. Good to learn some lessons. Yeah. Good yeah. to learn some lessons. Yeah. One of them is if you have a baggy heart, you've got to go to. This the is gym. just a very, this is very gentle one. This and uh, yeah, sound on. Yeah, he sounded. Oh, okay, someone going down a mountain on a bike. A child. A child. You got this. That was literally perfect. Just keep your speed. You'll go right over. <gasps> You'll be okay. You got it. Your guys are trying to kill him. No, no they're not. He can't even do the job at Is the lesson. Something to do with don't trust your friends. I love that. Like, I love that one of the kids is like, "You'll kill him." <laughs> yeah, it's so, not really like one of them trying to gas him up. Like, you know, perfect. Go on, nail it. And the other one's like, "You're so gonna it's a, kill him." It's a kid on a bike, yeah. making above a jump. like a they little must, rock. They must thing. be about ten, mustn't they? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Now, a bit now, old for you. It's a little bit. It, it's a bit. A bit fat for me. Yeah. I um. I love I, if the light lesson was don't jump off that. And Freddie's just lying on the floor, fucking <laughs> pastebating. <laughs> Pen A in hand. <laughs> <laughs> Little fucking fusilli willy over here. <laughs> um, uh, are we saying that he makes this jump well? Or are we saying He's that... too fat to make a jump well. Ah, that's exactly what happens. Yeah. He has protection. He has protection. He does have protection. He's got a helmet on. He's wearing a condom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Watch how slow he goes as well. It's Full never going to work. Full speed, Let's you little fat cunt. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> his head's bleeding. And it's, <laughs> he's wearing a helmet and his head's still bleeding. And it's that moment where he learns to never again trust his friends. Well, like, the thing is, like, like, the other life lesson is don't be a pussy. You've got to commit. He stops pedaling way before That's he should. That's because yeah. he's scared. It's like, it's why I couldn't skateboard. I, I gave up skateboarding after I tried to drop in on a half pipe and I just realised oh, I just don't have the bollocks for it. Like, yeah, you've got yeah. to lean completely forwards and if you don't fully commit, you fall off. And I just couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fallen off because he was going so slow and fat. This like, if you go faster... You go, wee, and yeah. you land. But because he's scared, he pulls out, and that makes him just flip right over the handlebars on his fat head. I just love the little cry at the end. <laughs> it's so funny. What's so awful is, though, like, you know, all that shit used to happen when we were kids. Like, none of my mates filmed it. Yeah. Uh, they're yeah. like fucking nine. Yeah. They're already he, in a viral video for being a fat spastic. He's going to be like, famous as the crying kid. He's a child who is now on a rape joke podcast being laughed at. <laughs> joke podcast. Joke. Just joke. <laughs> we want to just clarify that if anyone here was a rapist, we wouldn't have him on. We wouldn't have him on. In well, fact, we would probably delete an episode if we, we do it. We would have record. to record it, it and re record it, it again. Turns out we would have him on in the first place. It's just then we'd go, oh, and shit. Then, and then what we'd do is we'd we'd probably try and record it about five times at the beginning. Yeah, but we keep laughing about keep it. Keep laughing about it name. and then say their name. But that would never happen. Not on this podcast. Not on this podcast. And we definitely won't put those intros on Patreon at some point. <laughs> Yeah, we won't monetize us outing somebody who's not even a rape. I think rape allegations. All right, cool. Well, maybe edit that bit out. Cheers, mate, for the hard stop on that. Uh, what? <laughs> I tell you who else uh, we've influenced who has been on our podcast. Sorry, are you seg are you segueing rape allegations? I was actually segueing from that kid being on a rape podcast. Oh. To who else we've influenced? Oh yeah. In a weird way, yeah. is the Undertaker. Yeah, this is really weird. Like we, me, I was talking to you, I was talking to you about this this week, weren't like after we read this. Like I think the Undertaker knows who we are. Yeah, <laughs> sort of. Like the Undertaker. I seen Mark Calloway, like one of the uh, greatest wrestlers of all time, probably the most iconic character in wrestling. Probably one of yeah, top five. It's, it's like the one that your nan knows is the Undertaker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Didn't someone also say that Lily Allen listened to this? Yeah, well, that's someone that's unsubstantiated on our Discord, and I know you're very look at him trying to bring this up like he hasn't remembered exactly yeah. what this uh, was said on the Discord. Someone records they spoke to Lily Allen, yeah. who listens to this and yeah. some podcast called Have a Word. I don't know yeah, yeah. It. Uh, some and, amateurs, some amateurs, and they and Lily Allen said she likes Demon talking and she finds Freddie weirdly sexy, which is the only way you can find Freddie sexy. Oh it's yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It has to be a thing where you're like, Ugh. yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. Uh, in the same way you kind of want to eat a bogey. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are the looking at a car crash of shags. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. No, I agree. No one's gone. I find Freddie conventionally sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no one's like, yeah, no one's like Tom Hanks, George Clooney, Freddie Quinn. Well, you know? Lily, uh, I have to say that the feeling is uh, mutual uh, until you start singing. <laughs> The, the songs were never very good, were yeah. they? I like Lily. I never Did you? Yeah, I, think, I, I never, I never, but I don't like music. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I think I like everything that I know about Lily Allen as a person. I look at and I go, I think I would like her as a person. Uh -huh. She seems very nice, but I don't like that sort of Kate Nash, you know, my favorite. I think she was, she was, she was uh, you know. pre Nash, I think. Uh, you know, Kate Nash was worse, definitely. I think like Lily Allen has a lot more merit. Yeah, uh, she's pretty cool at the time. Yeah, I, I don't believe this story for a second, though. She's not got a fat dad, so it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't scan. Isn't her dad Keith Allen? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Is he not fat? No, no. Keith Allen's not fat. What's he do? He did Vindaloo, didn't he? Yeah, that, that's it. That's pretty much it. No, he's done loads of things. He was like a like he was like a journalist and broadcaster. He was one of those yeah. guys who just did loads of shit. He acted he in He was stuff. in loads of shit. He produced loads of shit. He, he's just done loads of stuff. I think he hung around with enough famous people that they were like, do you want to be in this? Yeah, he was just like a really famous guy. Like, he's not like one thing, Keith Allen. He's loads of stuff. You know? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. But Lily, if you are listening to this yeah. and you want to come on, yeah. uh, don't rape anyone. Because <laughs> <laughs> then we'll have to get rid of the episode. Uh, <laughs> if, but you know, if, it, if Lily Allen came on this podcast yeah. and then later on she went and raped five people, yeah. I'd go, 
Yeah, we'll just put it out. Yeah, fuck <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I'd be absolutely good. At first, when I see you rape. <laughs> if like I, I would be fucking gutted if you shagged Lily Allen. I well fancy her. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. if you want someone conventionally attractive, Lily, I don't think up. I'd. Uh, first of all, no. Secondly, <laughs> um, I don't think I'd shag her. I think I'd just become friends with her. All right. Yeah, she seems like a nice person. Well, cool. Yeah, there you go. You're welcome. I'd like to shag her. <laughs> cool. I'm not gay, and I <laughs> would like a friendship with her. Yeah. You see, look at that. That's toxic masculinity. That's gay. <laughs> toxic gay skeleton. It is gay to be friends with a woman. Yeah, that's really gay. <laughs> to be like, I don't want to have sex with her. I just want to be friends with her. No, I don't. Gay. I don't. I don't really. You know, she's I, got, have sex with women. I know because you're gay. She's got kids, aren't she? And baggy. Your heart's baggy. Yeah, and so's a. You know, not necessarily. She could be like, I think she's a kegler. She might have had a, a cesarean. Yeah. I, uh, I'm sorry. I I'd, lo- got... I'd, I'd love to have a little investigation anyway. Yeah, yeah. I just... I'll have a little look. And if it is baggy, I'll wear it like a fucking feed bag. I don't give a shit. Imagine... Next special, how baggy is Lily Allen's minge? Imagine imagine, <laughs> imagine her listening to this right now whilst going for a run around the park. Oh, yeah, I forgot that she might listen to this. I forgot that's why we started on this. She's running around like Hyde Park right now in her little yoga oh, I'll leggings. Just, I'll just pop dead men talking on. I wonder what they're going to discuss today. <laughs> oh, it's my baggy vag. Big fat vagina billowing in the wind like the fucking back of a kite. Taking off like, like yeah. a parasol. It's going to look like when primary school kids play with a parachute. <laughs> It's going to look like it's going to be running around Hyde Park and people are going to think it's the Champions League game with a big <laughs> fat baggy fanny. I've worked out how she got into this. I know how she got into this. Yeah. I reckon she's enemies or rivals with Duffy. <laughs> and we did a few episodes where we talked about Duffy at length and she yeah. was like, I like what these guys are saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're getting involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. fair enough. I think yeah. she might hate the streets. Yeah. Maybe she hates the streets. Yeah. I don't think she would. I think she would be a fan of Mike Skinner in the streets. Really? I think so, yeah. I've just realised I can't really think of any Lily Allen song. I know Smile. Yeah. Uh, first, uh, smile. Yeah. Uh, 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 and then there's that, it's just one thing that's getting in the way. Yeah, when yeah, he takes really off good. his head, he would do bit of bit of I like that song, it's good. And look into your eyes. It used to be on the uh, Cafe Nero playlist, and it was one of the very few songs I actually liked on it. It's one thing that really just the same. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 and then I don't know any. Yeah, yeah. I don't know any others. I can't go deep in a back catalogue. Go deep oh. in a baggy puss. Oh, sun is in the shower. Why, why would yeah, I yeah, want to yeah, be yeah. anywhere else? Yeah. Actually, it's not that bad, is it? No, I mean, like it's not yeah. that bad. Her music, yeah. it's not bad at all. Not that bad. Her music. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as bad as a baggy minge, anyway. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with this? We've heard that somebody mildly famous, no, mildly, mildly, mildly well famous, well famous, someone who I'm genuinely like really, I've, I've had a crush in her forever, yeah. and I'm just like fuck her. She got bad. And, and if she did come on this, would do absolute wonders for this podcast. Oh god, it'd be amazing. Yeah. And she's dead fun. Seems dead fun. She'd fit in. You know? We can't have her on. I mean, I'd fit in. It's baggy as fuck. <laughs> We can't have her on now after this. No, oh, I know. We've ruined it. Once again, we've ruined it. It's like the birth room you fans. <laughs> I don't want us to come on and ruin that sofa by leaking all over it. In the inside. Oh, do you know what? If we had her on, if we had her on, and then before she sat on the sofa, we put some tarpaulin down. <laughs> so, can we get you a water or maybe a tenor lady? <laughs> I could use her as the tarpaulin. <laughs> Fuck's sake! But yeah, we'd love to have Rob. Yeah, anyway, to. anyway, so it's the all, Undertaker. The Undertaker. Oh yeah, the Undertaker. Yeah. Okay, let's rise up back into this. Uh, yes. And the Undertaker was known as the Dead Man. The Dead Man. So, like a while ago, when we, I think it was back in the My Spare Bedroom days, we found out about this. Like the WWE tried to file a copyright for a podcast called Dead Man Talking. Yeah. Do you remember that? Uh, no. Right. Well, we, I think we talked about it on, uh, like on a, an episode. I, so, I memory dump a lot of what you yeah, say. Yeah. So they tried to like uh, tried to copyright that, and we were obviously like, "Hey, <laughs> that's us." Uh, but yeah, so like, nothing came of that. But now, like, uh, he started a new podcast, and uh, it's not called Dead Man Talking anymore. So I think clearly, at some point, they've had to go. Sorry, Undertaker. There's already a podcast called Dead Men Talking, so we're going to have to change it. So what's it called? One of the, the guys, Dead Man Diaries or something like that. I don't one, know, yeah. one of the guys knows Tai Chi. He'll really fuck you. Yeah, up. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's quite a slow mover nowadays. The Undertaker. He's getting down to my sort of How pace. How old is he? 
he's oh, he's it's gonna be fifties. Oh, well, like late fifties. He's old. He's fully retired, and he was his last few matches. He was slow. He's like really like he's knackered himself. Fifty nine. How tall is he? he? Looks fucking huge. He is. He's like oh, six yeah. foot six. Famously, or a very big man. Uh, yeah, he's a big lad. I think he might even be like uh, bigger than that. He was like a, a big guy in wrestling. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Like he wasn't, you know, known. He's huge. Really yeah, imposing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but reckon... yeah, some, somebody thinks that we're the Undertaker and has emailed in. <laughs> so some wrestling mark has sent in a fucking question for the Undertaker, and I think we should reply. I think we should reply, yeah. Should send him a do, email do you want to read it out, first of all? It's from Devin Clark, yeah. uh, and the uh, subject is Undertaker 2000 return question. Yeah. Hi, my name is Devin Clark. I'm a 23-year-old from pause New... It, pause it. Already I know that he's got special needs. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll tell you how you can absolutely tell is this sentence here. I'm a 23-year-old from New Jersey and I have a question for Mr. Calloway. Very funny calling him Mr. Calloway. The Undertaker. Yeah. Just like, hello, Mr. Calloway. Can I ask you a question about wrestling, please, Mr. Calloway? I like it when you do choke slams, Mr. Calloway. Mr. Okay. Calloway, when you're doing a tombstone pile driver. Did you write this message, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> Probably I couldn't. Go on. Uh, when you return in 2000, it was at Judgment Day, Judgment Day, brackets. That return is one of my all-time favourite moments in WWE history. So epic! Three exclamation marks. My favourite moment is when Chris Benoit went home to his family. <laughs> <laughs> but you were supposed to return earlier that year at the Royal Rumble, I believe. Had you done so, like intended, would it have been as the dead man, or was the plan always to return as the American badass? Also, do you know what your WrestleMania match would have been that year? If this could be addressed on the show or otherwise somehow, I and many others would be so grateful and it would be so cool to know, as I always wondered this. Thank you, Devin. R.I.P. forever! So, what he's saying is... It's so funny. ...is when you came back, you were meant to come back earlier in the year. Yeah. And uh, you probably had a bit of an injury or something. Okay, well, but I then, like, think... so I like, and also, was it like there's a he, he had a slight character change? That's what he's talking about there. The American yeah. badass. I don't know. If, I don't know how much you know of this. Uh, I don't know anything about this. Right. I didn't oh, even know no. he was called the Dead Man. Oh, I just no. thought he was called the Undertaker. So the I, Dead Man was I his original version. I actually of the character. think I can remember. So back in the day, me and my little brother would occasionally play wrestling on the PlayStation. Right. And I think that there was a time when the Undertaker came in on a motorbike. Yes. And that was that's it. the American badass era. So it was. In the new metal era, right? So, like, The Undertaker had been out for a while. He'd been away. I don't know whether he'd just, like, taken a break or he's injured or whatever. He came back, and because it was new metal time, WWF was like, we're going to be new metal. They gave him his... They changed his intro music from, like, the super iconic bong and, yeah. like, the lights going out and all, like, you know, like, that slow death march thing. Changed that to Rolling by Limp Biscuit. No. <laughs> and he came out on a motorbike with like shades and an American flag bandana and he was the undertaker the American badass keep rolling 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 and it was fucking lame like it was awful yeah that sounds dreadful it was dreadful he was already the undertaker it was cool like you know the yeah but also as well I think that the most badass thing that you can be is somebody who is removed from badassery. Exactly. And that's why I mean? The Undertaker was cool, because he didn't say much. He was, like, quiet. And also, as well, he, he just, just walks sort of like, in his own pace. Yes, yeah, slow as thing. fuck. And, and the whole point of that is that he's an immovable, right? Yeah. And it doesn't matter about how And he was totally different change. to all the other wrestlers who'd come in with the big energy and shit. He'd just walk in dead slow, ominous. You know, like, The Undertaker's cool as fuck. Yeah, but when you're like, hey, guys, I'm a badass. I've got a big Listen, American really, bike. Rum, 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 rum. I really am a badass. Badass, I've got a big bike and I, I listen to Limp Biscuit. I'm yeah. really bad. But he was already like in his like late forties, coming out don't, to new metal. Don't take the piss out of me. I'm really bad. I'm a really badass. Yeah. I'm really bad. American badass. Yeah, and it, it nah, fucking doesn't sucked. work. Um, so this kid clearly. Do you know what he should have come out to? Yeah. Smile by Lily Allen. <laughs> <laughs> Could have emerged from a vag. <laughs> 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 so, what are you? The American Baggy Vag. <laughs> <laughs> when you first left me, I was wanting more. That's the Undertaker's music. Keep the flap. American Baggy Vag. Keep flapping, 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 flapping. <laughs> 
so, uh, what I really love about this is the arrogance of him assuming that I and many others would be so grateful to know this. Like, everyone wants to know this. Now, like, I think, lit. realistically, of yeah. course we're going to reply to this. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. we're going to reply to this. Yeah. We have two options in terms of how we want to go. Yeah. Should we just be very nasty and go, hi, Devin, show me a little cunt. <laughs> just Sign the undertaker. Back. Yeah. Or should we pretend to be a paedophile? <laughs> Should we ask him for pictures of his feet? <laughs> hi, hi, Devin. I'd love to answer your question, but in order to get, in order to do that, I'm going to need some pictures of your feet. Like, try and make it. So, so no, no, so, so we need hi, to write it. Thank so, you for your question. Yeah. Uh, apologies for the late reply, mm. but I have been. Uh, but my good friend P Diddy Sean Coombs <laughs> has been has been in legal trouble, and I have been helping him delete some pictures. <laughs> Um, oh god we've got to remember that tom's got to type this is hold on right get chat gpt up and just put like, a letter from the undertaker but he's a pedophile <laughs> <laughs> what what a use of the most advanced technology currently available to people <laughs> <laughs> no, well, let you. No, and I've anyway, tried. we are not using AI for this Thank because yeah. AI puts out actual letter writers out of business, doesn't it? Tom? Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm a big fan of you know traditional letter writing. <laughs> I suppose, but but I've just remembered. Well, that's like, I don't. From? I can't remember what you said. <laughs> but I've just remembered that P Diddy is a paedophile. <laughs> I can't remember what you said. I remember. I remember. But what did I've, you say? But I've been, I've been busy. Yeah. Helping out my friend. Helping out my friend. Sean Coombs. Who has been in a bit of legal trouble. Yeah. Plus, between that and all the grave digging and whatnot, it's been a hectic time. <laughs> uh, you've also spelt who is wrong. It doesn't matter. <laughs> He's under so no one's stress. spell checking it. He's under so much I mean, stress, the, the computer is. It's done a little red line underneath between it. Between that and what? Between that and all the grave digging and that. It's been a hectic time. Oh, that's not his spell and. <laughs> He's meant to spell who and and wrong. <laughs> I don't think this is great podcasting. I think we should write it and then read it back later. Oh, no, no, we're doing sure. it together it just, now. It's just slow. Yeah, no, you're slow. Yeah, yeah you're because I'm trying to type. Uh, I'm trying to type as you talk. It's come on, hard. Come on, just do it better. Just be better at it. Okay. Uh, just, yeah, there you go. He's under so much stress now. Why isn't is he? He's, he's really flapping. He's just got to do a little typing. I'll tell you what else. I know he's got the hardest job in the I'll world, hasn't he? I'll tell you he's what else. He's a letter. I'll tell you what else is really flapping. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to finish it off? <laughs> oh, Lily Allen's Mage! <gasps> that needs to be a fucking tent at Dead Meat. <laughs> <laughs> the Lily Allen's Vag tent. <laughs> They're making the biggest tent we've got. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> we'll have Jeez. the Duffy stage and it's just a radiator with one person. <laughs> we just said, we just heard that she might listen to this occasionally. And the first thing was that, how can we cut her off? <laughs> Why are we like this? I don't know what's wrong with me. She seems like a lovely lady. I know, we all really like her. <laughs> Uh, anyway, well, we've been filling for a while. He could have been improvising, Tom, but don't worry about it. Like, <laughs> well, you were telling me what to write. So, uh, um, let's see. So, he said, um, I was... originally. Uh, no, hold were... on. Originally, I was meant to come back at the Royal Rumble, and it wasn't meant to be the American badass or it, the dead man. It was, it was my be... other character, the toe tickler. <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be a new gimmick based around my foot fetish. I missed all that. <laughs> oh, come on, oh. that's gold, Tom. Right. I can't tie that fast. Oh, you are correct. God. I was originally meant to come back earlier. There we go, tie that. It's all right. But, but not as the I'll, Undertaker. I'll fill, I'll fill the time, Tom, don't you worry. But not as the Undertaker. Not as the dead man, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because he was the Undertaker still when he was the American badass, and uh, the Undertaker would know that. As the dead man. Uh, or the American badass. Oh, yeah. But as a new character... The toe tickler. Oh, with a brand new finishing move. Yeah. This little piggy went to market. Uh, <laughs> called 
Cut, just like it's too long. Uh, okay. Uh, it is too long, isn't it? This bit. <laughs> it's fine. No, we're riffing, Tom. Do you want to stop? This I don't is... know where you get the idea that you should just shit on features on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. How you feel now is how we feel every week when you no, cut it. Just, just call this little piggy. I think. Let's let's edit that down a little bit. Oh, oh! Press Control Z. There you go, Tom. There you go. Just, just delete. <laughs> just delete it off. <laughs> I've never seen Tom this stressed. It's he's, amazing. I'm yeah, really, really ill. <laughs> yeah, he's, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, the little piggy should really be in quotation marks. Yeah. yeah. I don't care. The dead man would know this. Devlin doesn't care. He really yeah. does. Um, <laughs> this little piggy, which was similar to an angle lock, right? Put that because then like. Because a wrestling fan will want to know this. Oh, I'm so. <laughs> d- he's got to work. So it's so hard, isn't it? So yeah. hard, Tom's job. Uh, angle so, angle yeah, should be a capital angle. A, shouldn't it, really? Yeah, it should be, but whatever, whatever. But, you know. um, uh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Unfortunately. No, no, but fortunately. Fortunately. So he's, like, relieved this character never came out. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, Vince had a change of heart, and we settled on the American badass. Speaking of toe tickling. You've also put a bracket for the uh, the last paragraph. Yeah. That you've done, yeah. and it should really be a full stop at the end of a sentence. Yeah, there should be a full stop. At the end of that. Yeah, I can tidy it up later. <laughs> He's so annoyed. It's really annoying doing this. <laughs> I think, it, first of all, Let's I think make it's boring. Him write a letter every week. <laughs> I think it's boring. <laughs> He's gonna have to write so many letters. <laughs> Tom's weekly letters. <laughs> Tom's weekly letters <laughs> cut to the sting <laughs> that Tom had to make. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's weekly letters. <laughs> and if we just if we just refuse to do anything else, he's gonna have to do it. <laughs> so so much of this podcast is just built around being a con. I love it so much. <laughs> so speaking of Tony, maybe could uh, here's a fun idea. Just put here's a fun idea. Maybe you could send me a picture of you in a hang, uh, in a toe I think that might be paedophilia. No, he's 23. Is he? He's 23. Oh yeah, let's go for it then. Um, why don't you send me? Why don't you send me a picture of you trying to put a uh, little piggy on yourself? No, no, no. Why don't you send me a picture of your little piggies? Of your little piggies. <laughs> <laughs> Great. There you go, Tom. You're getting into it now. <laughs> yeah. Tom's weekly letters. <laughs> Question mark. Uh, kiss. Lol. Just put lol after that. I think. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yours deadly. <laughs> yours deadly. Mark uh, Undertaker Calloway. Uh, no, uh, no. Just put like, just put under, just put Taker. Just Taker. Taker, and then underneath, put AKA the toe tickler. The toe tickler. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. right. Let's send that back to Devin. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Clear up now. P.S. Then. <laughs> 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 Oh, a little bit of hope get extinguished out of his eyes as he was like oh god I think that's a great section I think that's a great new every feature every single what week. a brilliant new feature yeah, hey yeah, yeah. write in the comments if you've enjoyed that feature if you thought it was fast paced and entertaining <laughs> so we should do it again yeah there we go do you like it Tom yeah we'll do a poll that'll come to the week and see what uh, <laughs> like, that's going to win by a fucking mile and then I'll just ignore it just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, I've got a, uh, I've got another video for you. Oh yeah, maybe we should write the creator a letter. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, uh, you're gonna like this. Okay. I watched this this morning whilst I was having a shit. I laughed for ages. Yeah, because you can see in bottom the bottom d- one. So now he's in a new house. He's got a light in his toilet, so he's bottom reading one. things. Look at his lifestyle going up. Right. So just. Um, oh, he looks probably not what? okay to laugh at. Well, well, what I want <laughs> you to do is... He's in an Everton shirt, which describe, is your first side, but he's describe, mentally ill. Describe what you can see. Well, I, what I can see is it looks like Gary Poundland, right? <laughs> uh, this is what I thought Devin looks like. <laughs> it's, it's, Excuse me, Mr. Undertaker. <laughs> it's a lad playing darts. How tall do you reckon he is? Well, he's not as tall as the bullseye, so he's, he's, uh, he's, he's, right. he's a little Tom Hyde. Have a listen to what he says. Rosie's a red. Violets are blue. Let Maxi smash one where you poo poo. Cheeky little. Oh, oh, that's so hot. Oh. Now, what I want you to do is to have a look at the comments. <laughs> because the comments, are, you might have to click on the comment thing to. I'll get uh, the comments up. I'll tell you what I'll do. You, just, you get them up. I'll tell you what I'll do. You I'll get, get the up. comments up you for can, you. Uh, you can write our comments for us, though, Tom, can't you? The we, comments. We just tell you Dear what... Devin. <laughs> <laughs> the comments made me absolutely fucking howl. 
Uh, give me a second and I will get them up for you. It is so fucking brilliant. Yeah. Uh, do some filling in for us. Well, no, you're, you're doing plenty of filling. You can fill by yourself. All right. Okay. That's fine. I'll fill in myself. There's no problem at all. We could just uh, edit out. Crumble under pressure. No, nah, we'll just let him struggle. Right. First question. Yeah. And this had 11,000 likes. Yeah. First comment. How'd you get the darts back? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny thing to say to a short person. Next one, and I love this one. Hey, it's Luke, but Littler. <laughs> <laughs> and my favourite one, this is so funny. Thanks, mate. Nan's putting 2p coins down the radiator thinking she's on tipping point. Because <laughs> he's so small. <laughs> Just really made me smile. Yeah. Oh, God. It wasn't as funny in uh, sharing it with you two. No. But, you know, that's a... You've That's done a... that thing of going like, hey, look at this funny video. <laughs> like, you know, you've done that. Like... Really, you feel? Yeah, I feel mm. like you did do that. Well, yeah. I'll redeem myself with the last one. All right, go for it. The middle one. Yeah. Now, this is a talking point. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I saw this headline earlier, actually. Yeah, I didn't I read the story. Yeah. I asked my trans girlfriend to hide her package from my mum. She flipped out. Yeah, her mum hates Amazon. Really against big corporations. Yeah. She brought an Amazon package. And, uh, like, yeah. I have to say, uh, just to clarify, that when she said uh, flipped out, Right. They mean... Uh, Not whipped out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't mean it, it uncoiled <laughs> mid-dinner, <laughs> slapped on the table. You do sort of assume, uh, weirdly, whenever someone talks about a trans person's uh, dick, you always just uh, imagine a massive one, don't you? Like, yeah. yeah. You don't always imagine like that they're going to, like, you know, a trans woman's going to be like, wadomp, when, you know, they've got normal dicks in it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some of them must have really small dicks, and that's well, an yeah. advantage. Helpful, I guess. Um, yeah. I suppose. Less work for the surgeon. It depends. It depends what you're into. You know, if you're one of the ones who wants but, to keep the dick, you but, know, maybe you want a big one still. If you yeah. only have a smaller dick, then you have a very only... shallow puss. Exactly. And what if you want to transition into <laughs> Lily, Lily Allen? Allen. <laughs> <laughs> who was originally called Alan Lily. <laughs> Oh, Christ. Well, that's yeah. that's one listener that we've lost forever. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it please let us know if any other famous people listen to this. Please don't. We're going to ruin it. Uh, but yeah, like, here's the thing. You always just imagine they've got a massive bulge. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, not always the case. No. Yeah. No, no, no. There's an interesting thing to think uh, about. Why have you clicked off Why it? Why have you off it? I don't know. It's... <laughs> What? He's checked out, hasn't he? What is up with what's you? What's I'm really what's with, ill. What's wrong really with you? What are you what's with? What's wrong with you? I've got a throat infection and I'm very, very tired. You've got a throat infection from yeah. all the cocks. All the cocks have been... All the cocks, cocks have been, been guzzling. Yeah, all the cocks have been guzzling. I yeah. feel like this is the day that we break him. It's so funny. He's got no He's resistance. Weak, isn't he? he is. Should we throw things yes, at him? Yes, throw things at him. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I've got a little pot of beard on. I've got loads of stuff here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't throw most of stuff. He's ill. Should we throw things at him? <laughs> Where's the BB gun? It's in my car. Not near the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to go. He's just really unwell. I know. I, know, I didn't realise how ill I was until they started. <laughs> until he started having to deal with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be the longest record we have ever done. <laughs> like, I am not leaving the studio until he cries. Did someone say lock in. <laughs> We're going to make a Joe Rogan podcast look like bullshit. <laughs> uh, so let, let's let's uh, let's have a little look at this story about a trans woman's knob. Uh, a couple have been forced to address some uncomfortable truths in their relationship after one was asked to hide a part of their body, despite it meaning they weren't being their true self. Despite b there being many leaps and strides in society to accept transgender people, there are still a lot of sensitive issues that some struggle to figure out. Okay, nobody cares about this. Keep going down until we yeah. get to the actual, like, I well, think it's like... Well, the, 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 next, the next paragraph is the story. No, 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 no. It's actually like, the, it's, like it's like an Ask Me Anything. No, story. like, the next thing tells you what the story is. Okay. Let him read the fucking paragraph. Okay. Jesus Christ. A the more the time he's got to read, the longer he's got to stay here being <laughs> sad. That is true. Could you read the first paragraph again? Yeah. I am going to some book. Which do you reckon's baggier, your heart or Lily Allen's vag? <laughs> <laughs> she's powerlifting to try and firm it up. <laughs> Someone making a blind like, fucking hell, you're going to have to do two forms with that thing, love. I can't remember how, why we decided she had a baggy vag. What was the reason for Just it? Just because she's got kids. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
I think we know the title to this episode. <laughs> imagine it. Imagine me, Lily Allen, being like, and just gonna, get a notification. Oh, oh, a new podcast landed in my iTunes. What is it? Oh, oh, Dead Men. I listened to that one. <laughs> Lily Allen's baggy vag. What a name for an episode. <laughs> Oh, right. So read the story, read the story. A man named Peter has revealed how he's had to face up to his own shortcomings after he asked his girlfriend to tuck her penis while his mum came to stay with them. Explaining the situation, the 26-year-old cis man shared that he and his girlfriend, Kayla, 23, had been dating for six months and recently moved in together. <laughs> Pop-ups are killing him. Yeah. He wrote, she's awesome and easy to live with and we have a great and healthy relationship. Kayla is trans and has been on HRT for about five years and has just about met all her transition goals. However, I mean, not quite. Yeah. <laughs> however, she's not had any... She's, not she's got had, a lot of XG, but she's not converted. <laughs> <laughs> however, she's not had bottom surgery and has no desire to in the future. So she has a lot of X, oh, so she's XP. Not, yeah. <laughs> Expected penis. Uh, her, her XV is massive, <laughs> like a Lily Allen level, but like she hasn't converted. Uh, but yeah, right. So like she's not planning on it. So that, okay, that's fine. That's different then. Yeah, if you yeah. want to have a, if you want to yeah. have a cock, then yeah. fair enough. I was thinking though. Imagine if you were like, uh, like an, a normally straight guy, right? Who had like a trans girlfriend, and they were planning on getting the bottom surgery. You, that'd be like Christmas for you, wouldn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Finally getting a vag back in my life. <laughs> Yeah, no, although, no more swallowing cum for me. Although, like, I'm not really sure. Like, I mean, this is probably coming from a place of ignorance. Shock. What? <laughs> Something but, you say? But I'm not really sure. Like, if you go into all the effort to look yeah. female, yeah, and you've got a big dick, like, I, th- I just feel like for me, it's like renovating. A, it's 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 like renovating a house from scratch, mm. and then like having the bathroom outside no nah, like no you, you're thinking about it all wrong it's like uh it, it's like having a hot tub in a one bedroom flat it's like you're really into the hot tub you know unless like a nice bonus uh, you know it's okay. like it's like there's a lot of people who are into like the feminine with a knob and it's like the convergence of the uh, two okay it's like that's the thing they're into Fair it's yeah. got to be the last thing you do though as well you can't be the first thing and, oh, then, and then go ah yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, i don't i don't even like dresses yeah it's like hand tattoos you know you do those <laughs> after you've done your arm <laughs> yeah yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You don't go yeah. straight for yeah. You, you've got like you've got a vag, but you've just like a beard. Yeah, yeah, and, like, then you yeah. shave. Yeah. Getting a getting a, a vagina surgically in terms of being transgender is very much the cobweb face tattoo of, <laughs> really of operations. Yeah, yeah, you got to build up to it. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, does that mean that if a doctor comes in and you look male, they go, "Are you really sure that you want this?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to turn you down until yeah. you've had a couple more surgeries. <laughs> yeah. Uh, most people consider her to be quite attractive, and you wouldn't know she was trans just by looking at her. Well, you would if you looked at her dick. <laughs> oh, big fat cock. <laughs> you, you'd have no idea if she jizzed in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, are you trans, love? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, madam, I can see your erection. <laughs> She has a lot of confidence and she's very comfortable with who she is and how she looks. She doesn't tell people that she's trans, apart from doctors and the like, because she doesn't feel the need to. And she says it's no one's business. Yeah. Most people just assume she's cis female anyway. It's never been much of an issue for us until now. So it seems very much to me like she is incredibly comfortable with who she is as a person. Yeah. And it seems like he wishes she didn't have a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's what it seems like to me. Do you reckon he's, he's someone who's uh, made a compromise where he's like, I can date a lot fitter if I go trans? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is it's the equivalent of, like, when you get a, a Thai girlfriend. It's like buying a really nice house in a bad area. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're inside the house, it's lovely. But, you know, you step outside, you are in Wigan. Yeah. <laughs> you want the most battered cock on your street. That's what you want. You just get a lot more for your money. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm going to buy a girlfriend with a dick and then do her up. <laughs> <laughs> she's a doer upper. And by that, I mean she's got a massive knob. Yeah, I'm going to get a builder in arts, a structural cock. <laughs> We're going to need to put an RSJ in her vag. <laughs> I'm afraid they're all in Lily Allen at the moment, though. (laughs) (laughs) She's actually got the Channel Tunnel boring equipment up there. (laughs) What the fuck is wrong with us? (laughs) 
Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. I'm sorry. <laughs> the Channel Tunnel boring equipment. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Only vagina to have a buttress in it. <laughs> you get you get far enough up and you start finding dead canaries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, right. Okay. Let's go back to this trans girl's knob. Right. Peter continued. The issue is that Kayla <laughs> doesn't hide her package. Do you She's reckon a- there's a stag doing Lily Allen's vag pot all this? <laughs> There's a whole Thai football team. <laughs> Elon Musk competing to get up there. There's a tour guy telling you the difference between stalactites and stalagmites. <laughs> you can actually go and visit. I believe it's called Stump Cross Caverns. <laughs> She's got slalactites. <laughs> oh, that poor woman. <laughs> right. Peter continued. The issue is that Kayla doesn't hide her package. She says tucking is uncomfortable for her. Yeah, but it is, yeah, because you've got to shove your cock up your ass. It's uncomfortable. Is that what they do? Yeah, it's tucking, isn't it? Yeah, they put the... Like, when you do a full drag tuck, they sort of, like, pop their bollocks back up in it. Uh, and then they sort of tape the dick right round and sort of in towards the arse. God. Like, sort of like, it's brutal. I wouldn't fucking fancy doing that. Like, fair enough. Yeah, no, 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 no. Just no. stay a bloke. It's better. Yeah, it is, yeah. Enjoy the extra money. Enjoy the extra money, yeah. yeah. Right, so so she don't want to talk. Yeah, yeah she says talking is uncomfortable for her, and she doesn't feel the need to make adjustments to herself for other people. That seems like a very healthy yeah. sort of outlook. She also isn't small, so she would be slightly above average for a guy. Yeah, she's got a she's got fucking big, hammer, a big, a big old dick. Big she's old, got a fucking big hammer, old trans dick. She's got a fucking Hitzelsperger dare hammer. <laughs> Thor's trying to lift it. Yeah. It's slightly gayer than Tom Hitzer's burger, though. <laughs> <laughs> she often likes to wear jeans and denim shorts in public. Well, you're not doing any favours for yourself yeah. there. She just you? wears grey sweatpants <laughs> yeah. all day. <laughs> Budgie smugglers. <laughs> it's like, when my mum's around, yeah, can you not wear the Speedo? <laughs> Some days she will have a hu- she will have a bulge in her clothes. I've pointed it out to her multiple times, but she usually says that no one will notice and that she doesn't care about it. At home, she likes to be comfortable and wear a long baggy shirt and optional pants, kind of comfortable. Peter explained that while Ka- Kayla doesn't seem to care or notice, he has spotted the looks of disapproval and disgust people give her. He added, I've seen one woman cover her child's eyes. I've brought it up to her, but she says she doesn't take notice of those people and she just ignores them, but it- and it doesn't bother her. I have no shame in being with my girlfriend, but having strangers give us these looks does bother me a bit. Yeah, this 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 guy's this is all his problem. Yeah, like, she's absolutely fucking fine with it. Doesn't give a shit. People are weird. People are people. Like some of them are cunts. Like you can't be like worried because a cunt's being a cunt, in it. Like yeah. if you were actually comfortable with your missus, you wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah, it's... like enjoy your missus's big knob. You fucking weirdo. <laughs> exactly. Like if you want to suck a big trans cock. <laughs> Do it, but then don't be like weird about it. That's yeah. unfair on the the trans person who's knob you sucking in it. That you like go, ah, oh, I'm dead into having that rammed up my yeah. ass. But when we're in public, hide yourself. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. I think your body is beautiful, but just in the bedroom. Yeah, you got you can't have one or the other. If you want to do it, you want to get a transgender girl with a cock, but traditional Muslim. Right. Full burka. Yeah, yeah, that would hide a bulge. It'd have to be a fucking big bulge to throw show through a burka. <laughs> <laughs> It'd have to be a fucking weapon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look like a ghost doing an egg and spoon race. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Look like Lily Allen's vag. <laughs> oh, Lily Allen's got a burka vag. <laughs> Oh, God. The problem that is now coming up is that Peter's mum is coming to stay with them for a bit before they all go to his cousin's wedding. He admitted he was anxious as his mum didn't know Kayla was trans and he felt that either she should tell her or make sure her package was well Why hidden. doesn't he tell her? Why didn't he kind of quietly go, by the way, mum, my girlfriend's got a massive dog. <laughs> Don't say anything yeah. about my girlfriend's enormous dick. Yeah, my, my girlfriend wears very tight pants yeah. and has a huge, massive erect penis. You may, you may see something that you think, oh, is that a... That, that can't be a penis. It's a woman. Surprise. I love big trans dick. Yeah. Mom, That's what I'm into. Mum, my girlfriend is the only woman who can satisfy Lily Allen. <laughs> <laughs> or be used as a traffic bollard. Either way. <laughs> Come on. He continued. I then asked her if she should be dressing more appropriately, and she said, of course she would be putting on more clothes. I said, thank you, but could you at least hide your dick? This developed into an argument about... Could you at least hide your dick? 
What a thing to say. I think this man needs to learn how to be more manipulative uh, manipulative uh, to women. Right, yeah. So I what agree. he needs to do is he needs to... He, 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 you can't just say to a woman, can you hide your dick? Yeah. I can't believe that's a sentence in 2024. <laughs> but there we go. What you have to do is you have to yeah. go, oh... Do you know what? You look really nice in a dress. Yeah. Oh, like a long skirt. You know what I love you in? A summer dress. Yeah. A sundress. My mum has go. a phobia of denim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> big fat dicks yeah. on women. Or just be like, yeah, even if you want to throw it off, you'd be like, look, my mum's really prudish. She doesn't like, uh, she's always really judgmental of women in short skirts. So it just like help you make a really good first impression. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's maybe how, a way to do it. That's how you have to play this. You can't go, yeah. I don't Hide like. Hide your fucking cock. I don't like the idea of your cock being on display around my mum. Your massive cock that I love to suck and fuck. <laughs> yeah. oh, be clear. No, nobody be clear. is more of a fan of putting that dick in me than me. I think Love it, it is super. Love it, big fan However, of the old cock. Only in the bedroom. Only and in I the bedroom. Don't want anyone to know about it or where, see it. Where once again I will guzzle said cock. <laughs> Oh, no shame from me when I'm ramming it up my own ass. Yeah. But in public, when people are looking, ugh. And especially when we're in your house and yeah. my mum is here as a guest, yeah. I want you to hide your massive erect penis, which I adore. Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. Sorry, what do you mean mixed messages? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he should make every time he meets his mum and turn it into uh, a fancy dress party. Right. Yeah, if he, if he does a fancy dress party every time. And then convinces her to wear yeah. something ridiculous that will hide a oh, penis. Oh, my missus has come as Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> my missus has come as Banana Man, but she's, she's just keeping the banana down in pants. <laughs> my missus has come as a dirty tranny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What, what's that bin bag? What have you come as? <laughs> Lily Allen. Lily Allen. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I, I told Kayla my mum would react negatively in some way if she didn't talk. Kayla then got angry and said my mother would be a bigot if that were the case. And she called me an asshole for trying to police her body. And then she stormed off. I think she's probably right in that case. Yeah. 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 I think she's probably right to go, uh, yeah, my mum is going to be disgusted in your big yeah. fat cock. Yeah. That I love to suck and fuck. <laughs> I love to suck and fuck. <laughs> Nothing I enjoy more than sucking and fucking on your massive old cock. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, this guy's a pussy. you just got to fucking own it. Like, if you're into this, that sound. Just like, tell you know, your mum. If your mum's weird about it, fuck her, you know. Like, well, don't do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's not got a dick. Not be interested. <laughs> yeah, because she's a real woman. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get arrested in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've just got J.K. Rowling as a listener. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a baggy vag. <laughs> She'd take that as a point of pride. Yeah, she would be like, yeah, I've got a baggy woman's fudge. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Did you see, I've never seen, so Scotland have done the new hate crime bill, haven't they? Yeah. Where they're basically like, look, if you say things that are hurtful. Hate speech will get you arrested. What's hate speech? Just bad things. Being mean. Being mean and you'll be arrested forever. And uh, first day, J.K. Rowling was like, Here's a list of transgender people that are absolutely mad. Yeah. <laughs> Just put it out there. Yeah. And it's like, it, it, it was almost pathetic watching somebody be so desperate to be like, yeah. I'll say what I want, yeah. you know. Like, I don't know what her end game is. There. Like, what is her win then? That everyone goes, you know what, J.K. Rowling, you are right. Yeah. And no one's, no, it's not going to happen. People sucked into, like, particularly that argument, people get so sucked into it because, like, the feedback's so, like, volatile. I yeah. think it's, like, such a, like, fucking endorphin rush. When you're, like, a billionaire who's insulated from the world, you've got nothing going on, basically. But then you open your phone, you tweet something, and then fucking thousands of people, like, immediately go, ah, that's a rush, that's power. Yeah. And yeah. I, Just write a, another book. People go, people oh, are, don't do people, that, the shit. Yeah, but people like him, like, dweebs yeah, like him. Yeah, I know. I think at this point you should just troll that community to fuck. That's basically her move. Yeah, yeah that's what yeah, she's yeah. been doing. Yeah. yeah, and just be like, oh, I've remade Harry Potter. It's called Transy, she lit- Transy McMahon. She literally wrote a uh, murder mystery about a trans person killing someone. <laughs> She literally did that. It was driven mad by hormones and killed someone. Quite funny. Yeah, 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 look, she's committed. I just don't like, I just don't care. Yeah, and also, also as well, like, I can kind of understand where women are coming from. Uh oh, he's segwaying into an actual point. Where they're like, uh oh. They're like, look, 
I'm, I might not be like, like if you're a woman and you're not comfortable with your space being shared with people who have decided that they're a woman for more two more, weeks, you should more. I can no, but I can understand that. I, I can go okay. That's a legitimate opinion that you have. I don't understand it myself because I'm not a woman and I'm not trans, so I don't yeah, care. But is it not a bigger problem in terms of like women's space being taken up by, say, Lily Allen's vag? <laughs> Isn't that a bigger problem? They end up having less space. The no space. No, no space. you can't move for it. Yeah, it's yeah. everywhere. But, uh, well, I think in an ideal world, Lily Allen would just suck it up and use the disabled loose. <laughs> I mean, she technically is at that point, surely. <laughs> she looks like she's wearing uh, Princess Diana's wedding dress. <laughs> yeah. I need to stop. I need to piss really, really bad. Uh, okay, Tom, we'll try and carry on without you. Should we carry yeah. on or should we stop? We'll just carry on. We don't need we'll him. We'll stop. We'll stop for a minute. All we'll right. stop. We'll stop. Yeah. Just, just not stop. <laughs> I think we've broken him today. We've really broken him. <laughs> He's just not happy at all, is he? It's so fun. Let's make him write another letter when he gets back. <laughs> to Lily Allen. <laughs> <laughs> Massivevag at gmail.com. <laughs> right, when he comes back in, fuck it, keep recording. Mm. When he comes back in, we're going to yeah. say... Uh, we've got Lily Ann's email address here. Yeah, we're gonna write an email. Yeah, um, what what should we say? Is it let's have a like an actual thing that it could be. Um, j- we'll put Lallan. Yeah. At gmail dot com. Yeah. 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 What year was she born? Find out what year she was born and put the. Uh, uh, what? Yeah. Because we'll put that at the end. Like we'll do Lallan, and then. What what year it is? Born. Uh, nineteen eighty five. All right, Lallan eighty five then. Second yeah, of May nineteen eighty five. Oh, it's a it's a birthday next month. Happy birthday, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got that reconstructed vaginal <laughs> surgery for your birthday. Blow out the stitches. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, gosh, that's a big cake. You should see me cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you should see me cunt. <laughs> you should see me cunt. <laughs> <laughs> this might be my favourite ever. Episode. You should see me gun. <laughs> this, this might be my favourite episode. It's so uh, stupid. Thank God we had to re record. <laughs> Let's get a rapist on every week. <laughs> uh, How are we going to say we found her email, though? We found our email address. We found the Discord. Say so someone's posted it on the Discord, which has been searching. No, because he checks the Discord. We've got good way. news. Yeah. Yeah, we've just been on the Discord. We've got Lily Allen's email. Time to write an email. No, it's not. Here yeah, we have. <laughs> We've got Lily Allen's email. We're going to write her a... a big long one as well. Yeah, big wide one. <laughs> 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 you should see me come. Fred has just said something very funny while you were gone. Oh, God. It's, there's, it's impossible to explain without context, but the punchline of it was E, you should see me come. <laughs> it's about Lily Allen. <laughs> 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 and this has all started from her saying I might listen to them and oh, no. We just heard that she might be a fan. Well, she can't stand near one. <laughs> <laughs> Cause an industrial accident. Like a hot air balloon. <laughs> I'm going to fly around the world in 80 days using nothing but Lily Allen's <laughs> vagina. Aha! <laughs> She stood with a can of deodorant and a lighter underneath Lily Allen. <laughs> I'll be in Paris by noon. <laughs> <laughs> See you in Morocco, sir. <laughs> it's, it makes it so much better than the fact that he's ill. The fact that he's unwell makes it so much better this episode. <laughs> Oh, God. Have we finished that story then? I think we've finished that story. Oh, then, yeah. yeah, she's got a big fat cock. Yeah. <laughs> the end. Like, yeah, yeah. If, if you're ashamed of your girlfriend's dick, yeah. don't have a girlfriend with a dick. <laughs> yeah, that's really good advice. That's really good advice. Yeah. It's not fair on air, though, is it? Exactly. You've got to be all in or not.
You know, like, exactly. either you love sucking and fucking that big old dick, yeah. or you don't. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Piss, I'll get off the pot. And it's it's up to you, yeah. but you're not allowed to have your dick and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> right. Do you want some advice? <laughs> yes, yes, here we go. Advice from a cunt. I actually don't care if any of you live or die. Uh, this one's called Mong Child. Right. Hi, Tom. I oh, need. Katie Price has written in. <laughs> Hi, Tom. I need some advice. My son has dyspraxia and potentially ADHD or autism. How can I help him to succeed into a successful Mong like Jamie Hutchinson and not the regular Mongs like Freddie and Rob? All right, hold on. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I need some advice. So, there's dyspraxia, potentially ADHD or autism. Fucking hell. Like, well, you need to find out which one or both. You could have both. If you've got dyspraxia, ADHD and autism, what can you do? <laughs> like, yeah. You're like, Jesus fucking Christ. So, you've got no social skills and you've got, like, uh, no, like, sense of time and coordination. Like, you're absolutely fucked. Yeah. I mean, what you could always do is uh, get them to become a comedian yeah. uh, because that is a triple threat. And oh god, panel shows up the wazoo for yeah, that. Yeah, if you can, if you can make them gay as well. Yeah, they're fucking laughing. How do you there. make them gay? Uh, show them Lily Allen's vag. Ugh, <laughs> 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 dick for me. You know, they should have that on. Uh, they should have that picture on boxes of condoms, <laughs> like you know, like on fags. They have a picture of a tumorous throat. <laughs> Warning, too many no, of these can no, give you a baggy vag. No, but you can only get it on the box of 200. <laughs> to One see the whole thing. Cartons you get from the airport in duty free. You can only see the whole thing from space. <laughs> We're going to have to put this advert in IMAX. <laughs> Why is Dead Men Talking recorded in 16 by 9 these days? <laughs> Oh, oh God! God. Uh, need some advice. Well, so has dyspraxia, right? So, uh, like, well, I think you're fucked. To be honest with you, like, it sounds like he's an absolute uh, dribbling moron. Yeah, you're gonna yeah, have yeah. no chance. This, yeah. this came from a bloke as well. My advice would be just yeah. do what Rob's dad did, and it's always an option. Off. It's, it sounds more trouble than it's worth. Sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What you're gonna have to do, uh, genuine, real talk, is that you're gonna have to find whatever that kid's special interest is. And monetize the shit out of it. Yeah, you just have to hope. There's going to be one thing, hopefully, that they're, they're yeah, good at. Yeah, like that's you. You just have to hope that that special interest is like counting money for a bank or something. Yeah, like just something like they're not, that. They're not going to be able to do that with dyspraxia. <laughs> Chucking notes everywhere. <laughs> It'll look like a rapper in a strip club. <laughs> Also, I don't think that's like a highly lucrative job, counting the money. Oh in the no, bank. I, no, I don't mean highly lucrative. I mean enough to get paid. Like, yeah. Like, if, if this if this kid doesn't live in your basement your entire life, you've won. <laughs> you, we're not aiming at like you know world champion of anything here, really, with all those yeah. at once. Like you know, uh, but I know people with autism and ADHD were uh, doing, doing all right. Who? But, like it's really like comedy, isn't it? That's about it. Yeah. It's, it's a weird world where like if you if you are weird, that's sort of monetizable. Yeah, yeah, Hope yeah. Hope your kid's yeah. funny. Yeah. yeah, just yeah, just get your kid watching. Uh, get your kid two tickets to my show. <laughs> Separate shows, so yeah. you see it twice. Separate shows. Really, really drink it in, all the one nuances. A, sometimes a, one joke will be before another, and sometimes yeah. it'll be after. <laughs> one, one at the Edinburgh Fringe and yeah. one later Although on. He says that. I've seen him do stand-up so many times. Oh, it's the same order. It's, <laughs> uh, it's not true at I'm all. I'm joking. I right. did uh, Dan Nightingale and Fiend yesterday. Yeah. Totally new stuff. There you go. Here's a mixed pack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some of the stuff that I thought was not funny was very funny. Yeah. And some of the stuff that I thought was very funny yeah. was also not funny. Well, I'm just going to do half an hour on Lily Allen's vag at my Edinburgh <laughs> show. It's going to be a stormer. I did a stand-up gig the other day. Yeah. Yes, you said about this. What Where was the gig? I did uh, the, what's it called? The stage and radio? Oh, yeah. The, uh, Jordan's open mic. Yeah, yeah Jordan wasn't there. So it was, Jordan uh, Deschamps, friend. It was uh, Beck who was running it. Uh-huh. No, Beck. And uh, I hated it. I hated every single bit of it. Why? I just hated... The, I, I just didn't like it. I don't like doing stand up. I did it like ten years ago and didn't like it. I thought, ah, maybe it'd be different now. No, I hate it. Why do you hate it? What's what's see what what was your stuff? Well, for a start, for a start, for a start he's not funny, so that would make you hate it. It got some laughs. It got some laughs, but I I didn't appreciate the laughs at all. Uh-huh. But the ones that didn't get laughs, I fucking hated. I was like, well, now I just want to kill myself. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I hate it. I'm never doing it again. Yeah, it's not for everyone. Yeah, I just yeah, didn't, yeah. Enjoy yeah. didn't enjoy it. I like writing and I liked, you know, the, the, that bit. Yeah. But I actually didn't doing... like writing a fucking letter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine him writing his material like, fucking hell, bloody hell, this is boring, I hate this. <laughs> 
But yeah, as you're doing the stand up, didn't enjoy it all. Yeah. I didn't I didn't enjoy waiting to go on and watching everyone else be shit. <laughs> it's no great way. watching everyone else be shit because then you're like, I'm about to fucking rip this. Yeah, if yeah, the, the bar yeah. has been set this low, I'm gonna fucking murder. Yeah. Phil Ellis was there though, I enjoyed hanging around with him. He was very good after yeah. he was after me. Obviously, so you're just like hanging around with comics. What I, you basically I enjoyed, be, I enjoyed hanging around with basically, Phil. Basically, you wanna be a chuckle fucker, is what you wanna be. That's your position in comedy. You wanna suck off comedians. It's about all you wanna do. Oh, yeah, ideally, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you yeah. go. So, you know. You can just stay as a producer. So is this... I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just yeah. going to stay as a producer. Is this just why you've got it. a sore throat? Because you were hanging around with Phil the other night. I know, I was stuck in his dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuck in his yeah, dick, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he's gay. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm never doing it again. Yeah. 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 It, yeah. I didn't enjoy it at all. Yeah, it's it's really hard when you do enjoy it. So what if you don't, your... I probably wouldn't yeah. bother. What was your opening bit? Come on, tell us what your stuff was about, at least. What were your topics? There was a trans bit. There was all right. There's a lot of stuff that I've said on here. Stealing my fucking stuff. I, know, I love he's gone straight in at that. He's like, yeah, I could probably do that straight away. First gig. Go straight into the trans stuff. There, there is a bit. There's a lot of things that I've said on here. Yeah. There's like the bit about, you know, like uh, being on a plane and just wanting to go on that slide and stuff. Uh-huh. And I did a bit about that. But yeah, I just didn't enjoy it. Just didn't, I'm not going to do it again. It's a, it, it's, it's a very different skill. A lot of people that I know that are very funny off stage are not funny on stage yeah. because you have to... It's it's a different type of being funny. Yeah, I also know professional comedians who are not funny on or off stage, <laughs> and it's baffling. I also know... They've just been around since the 90s. I also know comedians who are really, really funny on stage, yeah. and then you get off stage... Boring nerds. Yeah, 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 yeah. So boring. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just a different thing. Yeah, yeah. so uh, I, I scratched an itch. I was yeah. thinking about doing it for a few weeks, and then I did it, and I was like, nah, I'm yeah. not doing it again. What you need to realise, Tom, is you are not talented. <laughs> So a lesson you need to learn. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I'm glad you found that out. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, I've got no idea on this one. I got very distracted because like the other the other thing that's on the screen was about me, so I started reading it. That's oh yeah, there's about. a Rob mystery. Do you yeah, want another yeah, Rob yeah. mystery? Let's yeah. Well, let's mystery. let's just do with Mong Child. Oh, yeah. uh, make sure that he finds something that is interesting that you can monetize. Yeah. Try and get him really into like like a uh, uh, traffic controller. Mining like, Bitcoin. ADHD. They're gonna fucking forget about a plane. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I fucking forgot where I put that. Mining Bitcoin, that's what you want to get him into. You, you want him to be a computer. <laughs> that's what mines Bitcoins. Yeah, but people have to like like work out how to nope, uh, just... efficiently mine Bitcoin. Nope. Yeah, they do. They don't just, you don't just go mine the Bitcoin. Just, I mean, if... you essentially do. You just run a program and computer. Yeah, but there's a f- more efficient ways of doing it. Yeah, just having more processing power. And like AI is going to do that. That's not a career. All right, get him into AI. Get him into AI. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Get him into AI. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Someone's got to make AI. I think AI is going to make AI. All right, good. Problem solved. <laughs> Great. There we go. <laughs> cool. Yeah, no, not a fucking clue. Uh, this one is, uh, yeah, okay. This right. is called Rob Mystery. <laughs> I think Rob shagged my stepsister. A couple of weeks ago, she finally decided to leave her dickhead husband after years of abuse. He forced her to move to Scotland, so I went up to bring her back to the family home in Sheffield. This already sounds... Like all the hallmarks of a Rob Mulholland shag. Yeah. Sheffield, uh-huh. abuse, yeah. and crying. Crying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the three. And stepsister, so she knows what a broken family's like. <laughs> on the drive back to kill some time and drown out her occasional sobbing, I, <laughs> I put on one of the podcasts. <laughs> Listen, I know you keep crying, but I'm going to listen to Lily Allen's baggy minge. For yeah. it. It's like, I don't, I don't want to stop you crying. Some rape jokes. <laughs> This really changed her mood, and she was actually laughing and smiling. However, she didn't like it when Rob called Freddie a big, fat, lazy cunt. Well, yeah, because she... it's too much like a home life. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't understand that you are a big, fat, lazy cunt. Assuming Rob was also part of the Chippy Tip family, she decided to Google him to see what he looked like. She then gasped and shouted, Oh, my God. After five minutes of me asking what was up, she finally uttered that she thinks she slept with Rob after a night out when she was at uni. The only thing is she didn't think his name was Rob. She also went to uni in Leeds between 2008 and 2012. You went to Goldsmiths, didn't you? Yeah, yeah but I lived in Leeds. Oh. Uh, probably around then. She won't let me say a name as she is set to start work as a teacher's assistant in high school. She would only let me describe her as a five foot four emo slash goth girl with green hair. Yeah, that, that checks out. 
So, Rob, did you goose my stepsister, or is she just a bit of a slag and slept with someone else that's built like the North Tower pre-9-11? I mean, like, odds are, yeah, I banged your stepsister. <laughs> like, odd, like, really odds on. Like, you know, that, that describes, like, uh, yeah, that describes a swathe of people I slept with, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I probably did, yeah. I mean, shout out. Uh, sorry for, you know, the abuse that happened afterwards, but it's not really my responsibility. Uh, but, you know... And uh, the fact that you gave her a fake name, apparently. I definitely did. I never done that. She'll have just forgotten, you know. Like yeah, bang the memory out of her. <laughs> <laughs> or she was incredibly drunk. Yeah, probably. You know, like this was peak of my drinking as well. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's most likely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if she thinks she shagged me, and uh, yeah. Send us a picture. We won't put it on the podcast, but yeah. we'll, uh, we might be able what to. What I like about this, I think. I, I mean, I think I know who this is. Like, what? Uh, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what do you think her name is? I'm not saying a fucking name. All right, well, right, the I, initial. Because I can't really remember. The initial. But no, I think, uh, I think I remember who this is, yeah. Does she have any marks, like a tattoo or anything? Yeah. All right, what's she have? Emo girl. I don't fucking remember that much detail, mate. All right, so what do you remember give about her? Is her? A de- give us a detail that he could ask her, and then we'll we'll confirm or deny. Does she have any, like, no. uh, y- uh, unique cock-sucking techniques? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> nah. How that... baggy was her vagina? Uh, no. Uh... On the scale of a baby to Lily Allen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was about the size of a blue whale, so about 0.5 Lily Allens. I don't think I know who it is. And if it is who it is, uh, shout out. She was, uh, she was ace. Liked her. Yeah. Fun. Uh, well, well, go on. Give us a... Re- Not like, I, I don't remember like loads of details, obviously. Like, you know, it was a very uh, hectic time, but, you know. Uh, yeah, I think I did, yeah. I don't know what else to say, yeah. Right, good. Mystery did. solved. Probably did, yeah. It, it's very likely, <laughs> anyway. I actually really quite like how this guy was like, my stepsister was pretty sure she shagged Rumble Holland. Yeah. But I decided not to believe her and ask anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not that unbelievable, is it? Yeah. Like I'm not like I'm not I'm not unattainable. I will say one thing, when I'm single, I'm fucking easy to shag. <laughs> like if you want it, you're getting it, you know. Yeah. I so. reckon I could fuck you. Yeah, yeah, let's give it a go. Yeah, I'd have to talk around. I do your like tits. Though. I'd have to talk around your family. Though. <laughs> Big fat queen cock. I'd be like, look, Freddie, I love your cock. Well, my mum's an RE teacher, she's and she just won't have it. She won't have it. So push your tits up. Yeah, tuck that little knob away. <laughs> and wear this policeman's uniform. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I, I, that could have gone a lot worse. I was assuming there was going to be some awful detail about that, but if we just... Uh... You were thinking you were going to rape somebody. No, I didn't and then, that. And then we'd, we'd have, have to, to delete the episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we've come full circle. Uh, yeah. I need to go. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's supposed to be you. Yeah, supposed <laughs> to be you. I'm in charge of the, I'm the one who presses stop. Oh, he is, isn't he? <laughs> I can press stop. He's. I'm not good at that. Not He's for got me. All yeah, but I, yeah, but I can press it first. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I sure he, he does have the ev- ability to stop it whenever He's he wants. Thought of everything, hasn't he? He's not that like, competent though. He won't do if we threaten him as well. Don't. Yeah. don't if, you, if you press stop, I'm going to suffocate you. And you know what I'm going to use? <laughs> 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 Grab it round your head, <laughs> like I've hidden in the back seat of a car with a carrier bag. <laughs> oh God. <sighs> oh, this has been so much fun. Uh, if, uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, I'm guessing you're not Lily Allen. Uh, <laughs> if, if you have enjoyed this, get on our Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod. Le- legitimately, if, if you are listening to Lily Allen, reach out to me on like Instagram or something mm-hmm. because I think it would just be so funny uh, knowing that she listened to this whole episode. <laughs> I don't think she's listened to all of it. There's got to be a point where you knock this off. <laughs> After like 60 minutes of you've got a baggy badge joke, surely you're like, all right, I, I think no, I've heard enough. I like the idea that she's running around the park where she's like, they'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll move on. They'll They've get tired on. of this eventually. <laughs> they'll get tired. I've got another 45 minutes of this run. They'll move on from this. No, okay. Uh... Right. But yeah, get on our Patreon. It's three quid a, uh, three quid a month, and uh, you can have a free trial for a week. There's shit loads of stuff on there. There's an extra episode every week, and uh, all the specials and all that sort of stuff. Also, send us in videos to 07354188257 on WhatsApp, and uh, come to the Edinburgh Festival to see us, and Freddie will be on tour. Buy multiple tickets, because the show will very slightly change each time. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. If you enjoy minute differences between comedy shows, stock up on those tickets now. <laughs> <laughs> let's just let's just let's just do another hour. Yeah. Let's just go continue. fuck yourself in your massive vag. <laughs> <laughs>
So much of this podcast is just built around being a cunt. I love it so 